doing solo gigs, tune down the E flat, it saves on your vocals unbelievable, especially when you're doing like rock stuff like Bad Company and Foreigner and all that, because I play in a band, we do Journey, and I mean, it's all high vocal. And playing half step down, I mean, Stones, Temple Pilots, and then that's all E flat. And it's, and you do get a bigger sound, you know, doing the E flat thing. And uh, so um, I started tuning it up, and I was like, no, I just leave it. You know, just that's the way I've been playing for the last five years in my old band, Sports Bar Rock Show. We were doing E flat. If you're playing five nights a week singing, like singing all night long, man, it really stays on your vocals. Just a half a step saves. It's unbelievable. Yep. You know, I've got both, and part of me likes 34 better. I don't know, you know, because I grew up playing, you know, uh, yeah, 35, I don't know, when I first started playing one, I was like, I don't know if I like this or not, you know, Ex exactly, but, but, you know, it, it definitely, you know, especially for the low B, really helps. Um, but I don't know. It all depends, I guess, what what bass I'm playing and what like you know kind of what music I'm playing. You know, whatever. Yep. Do you still own that fretless Lake? I think it was a Lakeland uh, six string. Was it Emerald Green bass? I think. Well, that was a five, and it was a loner because they were building me one. And you know, this is funny. When I was on tour with Trisha Yearwood, I was using that bass in a couple of songs, and it's on YouTube on Walk Away Joe. That bass sounded unbelievable. And it was a right-handed one I was playing upside down. So they custom made me a left-handed one, and they kind of come to a show. I plug it in, and I was like, I, what am I going to say? Because this bass don't sound nothing like that other one. <laughs> and it was a loner. I'm like, that bass. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you. And you know what's weird is that, because I don't play much for us at all, and I don't even have one now, but that bass, I could like sing and not even look at it and just play right in tune. It was something about the feel of it. And when I got that left-handed one and started playing it, man, I was like off a little bit, you know, it's like, it's totally, I don't know, but that bass, I wish I couldn't, I wish I didn't have to give it back. Where did it belong to? It just belonged to Lakeland. Yeah. And you know, I, I didn't want to, like, what are you going to say? They should make this bass and like, oh, the loner sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. It's just got this sound to it. I'm like, man, same pickup, screen of everything. It's just something about the wood of that bass, I guess. Oh, you're talking about harmonics? Bend the neck. Oh, God. Well, I used to do it with my old music man in the 80s, and people were like, it sounds like you're going down a whole step. I mean, like a whole, a whole octave with that thing. You'd bend the neck so far. Um, 